Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And uh, while I'm on, or supposed to be on, <laughs> my medical leave, um, I've got, I don't have too much to do. So I've been playing around a little bit. Back there, you can see that I've got my new Bamboo Labs 3D printer, and I've been putting it to work, let me tell you. Uh, this is my most recent file that's still printing right now. It is a exoskeleton cell phone holder. Very cool. It's got little gears and fans on the back. It's just the coolest thing ever. I'm printing that over on the, uh, the new Bamboo Labs printer right now. But um, while I'm on my, or supposed to be on my time off or stuck to the couch or the, <laughs> the, the uh, recliner chair inside the house, I'm just sitting out here and um, not... You know, I'm not uh, going against doctor's orders. I'm, I'm relaxing. So I figured while I'm doing this, I'm going to make a couple of videos until I get this whole health issue straightened out. And um, this video is going to be pure light burn design. We're going to cover today how to make slots and tabs the easy way. <laughs> So uh, let's get started. Let's jump over into Lightburn and get started on learning how to use slots and tabs. All right, so um, we're in Lightburn now and I'm not gonna take a whole lot of time to show you this. I just wanna show you the fundamentals of making slots and tabs. We're not gonna make a whole box. We're just gonna learn how to make them. So I'm gonna grab a primitive. Oh, first thing before we get started, come up here to the gear icon and set, I always set my visual grid spacing to whatever project I'm working in. In this project, we're gonna use the 10 where it's already set. So that means every one of these squares is 10 millimeters. The snap distance is gonna be 10 and we're gonna leave everything else the same. Both of these are gonna be the same. Make sure snap to grid is on and I'm gonna leave that there. So I'm gonna do uh, control and arrow I'm gonna do uh, 10 on that. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do five. I'm gonna do the arrow key at 10 to match those, and shift and arrow at 20 is good. And I'm just gonna say okay. So now I'm gonna grab a primitive up here, the rectangle tool, and I'm just gonna uh, hold shift and drag out a square, a perfect square. And 130 millimeters happens to be perfect. That was a good. A good pull right there actually I'd like it to be a hundred so I'll put 100 and press enter now we have a perfect 100 square so now I'll grab the selector tool and if I move this with the selector tool you'll see that it is now snapping into all of these 10 millimeter squares another way that you can move it is by the corner you see the bullseye the mouse turned into a bullseye you can move it by that corner as well so let's snap it anywhere into one of these. And you'll see that we now have 10 of these boxes inside here. All we're gonna do for this video is show you how to make one tab on each of the four corners and one slot on each of the four corners. And this will give you a good understanding of how to make slots and tabs. Let's go ahead and grab another primitive, the rectangle tool and let's drag it out, let's say 20 millimeters, like that, that one's 30. <laughs> let's bring it to 20. So we have 20 millimeters. Now, uh, I want you to understand how this works. Let's say we have three millimeter wood. So if we have three millimeter thick wood, we want to double that three millimeters and add the kerf before we make our slots and tabs. So uh, let's say that we have a diode laser and that diode laser has a 0.01 kerf. So we're gonna go to 6.02. And let's go ahead and put that on the blue tab so it looks the same. That is the number that we're gonna work with. Three millimeter wood times two plus the kerf is 6.02. O2. This isn't that hard. So now we're going to grab this 
slot or tab or whatever you want to call it and we're going to come up here and we're going to unlock it and we're going to make the height of this 6.02 and press enter now we have our slot and our tab believe it or not <laughs> and the width is 20 let's make the width 10 because that would work better so now we have a slot and a tab that is double the size of the wood why is it double the size of the wood I'm gonna show you right now if we grab this slot and this tab and we come down here notice what just happened it turned into a bullseye and it is locked right to the center of this line and it will lock to the center of this line as well so wherever you put it it's gonna lock that is absolute center right there that's the absolute center of this square if you were to grab this by the corner you could lock it right into the corner like that so you see how this works this will not lock into the center unless you're really careful so but it will lock into any corner so I like to grab it by the middle because that locks directly into the center so let's take this BAM right there in the center that's gonna be our first slot or tab I'm gonna duplicate that by pressing control and the letter D and then I'm gonna use my arrow key and bring it way down here so I probably could have got it right perfectly dead yeah using the arrow key I can get it perfectly dead center like that I'll press control and the letter D one more time and what I'll do now is drag this one and lock it to this line and go right until it snaps right there in the middle now I'll press control and D again and bring it straight across because I have set up my settings in here for it to snap in certain places and move a certain distance I know that's directly in the center the only problem is these are the wrong direction so I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna press the period key and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side could have selected them both at the same time now we have our slots and our tabs and I'll explain that to you in just a moment so now with this all set up and we're gonna pretend like we put one at, at this mark right here and this mark right here and, and you know, this mark right here you know we set up all of our tabs or slots already and then we're just going to drag over this and again control the letter D and move the second copy out of the way so now if we come up here and we select this one first and then this one second by dragging like this we come over to weld we now have our first tab we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. We're going to weld our second tab. And we're going to do the same thing on the side. There's our third tab. And on this side, weld that one. So now we have our four tabs. And if you want to take a look and see how accurate this is, you can grab the ruler and come over here and pass it over this line. And guess what we have? 3.01 millimeters that's your if you had exactly three millimeter wood which you're never gonna have it's all nominal sized but let's say that it was you have a perfect 3.01 millimeter tab that will now fit into your 3.01 slot <laughs> so there you can see just how accurate this is when creating slots and tabs it's actually more accurate than boxes.py so now let's talk about the second one so now we have to make the slots so the tabs can fit into them so what we're going to do now basically the same process we're going to drag from right to left select both of those going to come over here and we're going to use the cut feature uh, actually it's subtract <laughs> so we just subtracted that and again this is a perfect 3.01 and we're going to come over to the side and i'm going to show you a different method for doing this if you're not comfortable with the boolean features on the side here so with these two selected i'm going to come up here to tools down to boolean assistant click on that and then if we 
pass our mouse over these it's going to be one or the other there's your tab and there's your slot so we either have the union to create the tab or we have the subtraction to cut out the slot there we go there's our slot and you can do the same thing on this one with the boolean assistant if you wish and you're going to just use the subtract again a minus b say okay and then we're going to come over here like that and there are our two pieces so uh, if i take and drag this now or actually let me not drag it <laughs> if i take and move this up like that you will see that we now have a perfect joint and that will fit together perfectly based on what your kerf is so this is the easiest way that there is to create slots and tabs and i don't know why so many people are on youtube trying to explain to you all of these steps when this is the easiest way that there is to make perfect tabs and slots now again of course i only made four and then of course you're going to come in here and you're going to draw out another <laughs> another box that that's going to be the size of your sides so in this case it would be 100 by 100 so if we were to draw out hold shift another rectangle select it put it on the same layer and come in here lock it and set it to 100 it will be exactly the same width and height as this and then all we have to do now is unlock it let's say we wanted the height to be i don't know two inches so or so so we'll do something like that and this will now be the side right here this will be the top this will be the bottom and this one will be the side and you just repeat the same procedure as we just did on those boxes up there by lining it up right here and setting your tab drawing out new tabs you can, could have duplicated them earlier and saved them now all we do is just do the same thing on this we'll put our slot on one side down here we'll put our tab on the other side and we just make four of these two for the top and bottom and two for the sides this is really so simple folks <laughs> it doesn't get any easier than this and you get perfect perfect joints don't spend a whole lot of time on the internet researching how to design your own slots and tabs if you use this method, you'll be able to create a box in under 10 minutes or so that will perfectly line up and you won't need any type of online generator to do it. You can make it any shape that you want. Okay, so that's about it. That's the easy way to make slots and tabs. And uh, I don't know why people complicate this so much when it's such an easy thing to do. So uh, anyway, I hope this video helped you today. I'm going to focus more on light burn training videos until I get whatever is wrong with me fixed and released from the doctor. And uh, that's all, folks. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed getting out of the house and making it for you. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.